Did you know that I'm a Scottish lord? No, you're not. Because on the internet, it's in your mind. <laughs> on the internet, it says I can become a Scottish lord. Public, I'm Dutch Scholes here. Done. Welcome to a very special episode wherein we are going to be cracking into a $600 scotch. This is why I show up. Dun, 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 dun. Basically, a giant box, guys. Um, I love it. Let's talk a little bit about um, this bottle, and it is crazy expensive. I mean, you will usually see this for around $600. Bucks. Um, I was able to find it for almost half price. Which and I couldn't I, believe. I basically was like, okay, I got Wait, it. is this a fake one? Uh, I hope not. It <laughs> looks very real. Uh, but what we're going to crack into here is Johnny Walker's King George the Fifth blended scotch whiskey. Look at this box, guys. Seriously. So first segment here is just going to be the unboxing because it's pretty epic. It's like Merry Christmas. As you can see there, we got 43% alcohol. I mean... It has the whole motif, the the crossways band that Johnny Walker always does. Um, they're just so good. There's dude. like a, a little thing of information here on the side as well that kind of talks oh, about class act, the palate, the tasting notes, and all that stuff. We open this bad boy up. Let me see. I'll try to do it over here in this camera and not drop anything in the process. Let's take a quick look at this. Look Ooh. at that wow. beauty. There is a book, Jules. Dude, look at that ribbon pull tab. There is a ribbon dude. pull tab. Oh my gosh. Um, so let's start where everybody would want to start when they get this. The booklet. The booklet. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's actually pretty cool now. we uh, What was that one we... Whoa, that's actually a hardcover book. Oh, it is a hardcover dude, look at book. That. You know, it's Johnny Walker and Sons, King oh George V. And this kind of details a little bit about the whole, the blend, and also about the royal appointment. Uh, mm -hmm. Because this kind of celebrates the first royal warrant in the United Kingdom that was um, for the, the royal household. And there's actually a mm. picture here of the initial, like when the initial warrant was being issued. Uh, there's some just some That's cool so stuff cool. in this book. Dude, what would it been like to be in that room? Uh, so King George V, this is kind of to honor that whole royal warrant thing. And they kind of created a blend, I guess, from some of the oldest stock. I don't know. Don't have a little more info on it. Um, I'm going to pull it out of here because this is so cool. I'm a little bit scared to do this. So why don't I hold it? Why don't Shall you, I pull, you pull it out? Pull it out. Yeah. So, uh, you know, basically they are on the website. It just says that the blended whiskey uses whiskeys from distilleries go. that oh were my gosh. in go. operation during George's reign, which was oh. in 1910 to 1936. Yeah. And it, quote, like reflects it. the distinctive Johnny Walker style of that era. Now. Here's the interesting part, right? When the price goes up, do they change the name from Johnny to John? Because look at it. It's John it's Walker. John Walker. Sons. Now, we did the 200 does anniversary Walker. bottle, right, review, Dude, look at the which crest. also That's had the so John cool. Walker. So what's up with Johnny and John? And then I got to say, like, look at this topper. Oh man, look at that, wow. dude. That is pretty sweet. So cool. Is it gonna have the heft that we want? I mean, feel this bottle. Dude, the first bottle off. has the heft. Guys. I think this could dude, survive a two-story drop. <laughs> Seriously, I think so too. Feel this, Dylan. Yeah, this is this is a solid. Imagine building a robot with that. <laughs> it's pretty solid. Yeah, this is solid. All right, so uh, are you guys ready to try this? Yes. Oh, I'm excited. Do you have any expectations? Yes. Yes. The expectations are very, very, very high. Really? Yeah. If it if it fails, <laughs> well, you'll know about it. <laughs> yeah, you won't stop telling us. <laughs> well, I gotta say, this is a little bit precarious. Uh oh. Because properly sealed. This is a oh wobbly. A little wobbly. Let's see. Let's see how this does here. But it has a texture too. Did you, oh, yeah. did you note that? Do yeah, we, we think did. the uh, do we think we're gonna get a good cork pop here? Let's see. <laughs> Sounded <laughs> good at the end. Okay, let's that, feel that. 
That's like oh my that's God. solid, man. Dude. It's like wow. Coin. wow. This is the heaviest. It's like a gold think, coin. This is the heaviest I've. I, it, dude, there's like lead in there. Man. Seriously. <laughs> that's a paperweight, guys. Yeah, this is. That's a paperweight. This is, this is dude, hat. That's awesome. awesome. I mean, can, dude, you know what? Just for that, man, I think I have to upgrade this, guys. Right. It's not Glenn worthy. Glenn Karen is the this problem. Is not worth, no. I gotta go with the gold Glen. You haven't even tried it yet. It's not- kingly, dude. It's for the king. <laughs> In honor of the king. The cup of a carpenter. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna pour carefully because I don't want to <laughs> spill. I mean, every drop of this is like thirty bucks, man. Seriously, dude. Oh, just kidding, no, dude. You must see it. I'll get this one. I'll get the first pour. I'm making him nervous. Then you get the first spill on camera. Whoa! Uh, not a drop. Whoa! Spill. I'm gonna spill. Some Neck pour stuff. challenge. I feel like I could pour this from two stores. Actually, the pour oh, is excellent. Dude, yeah, I know. The You're having an easy excellent. time doing it. That's different. I am surprised. I mean, usually, you guys know me. Yeah, I it's all over the table. A significant amount. Um, okay, there's a little bit of spillage down the side of the bottle. So, yeah, it's down the rim. Just a tiny bit. Um, wow. I'm like, I can't believe what an experience this was, just opening this up. Are we just paying wow. for the experience, though? I mean, is that... Wow. Well, I paid for the box <laughs> and the copper top. Well, I think this is one of those we should allow to open up a bit. Yeah. So before we dig in, guys, let's talk a little bit about our experience with Johnny Walker. Because we, as you guys know, we've done a drink through. We drank every one of the regular series. Johnny Walkers will pop a link up for that. Um, you know, I'll just be blunt and say I love Johnny Walker Gold. I keep a bottle of it back of here. I threw it off a building and it survived. If you want to see that video, check that out. Um, I, I, I don't know. There's something about it that... That, uh, that I've always enjoyed. And the whole lineup. I mean, I know amongst the three of us, like Johnny Walker Blue is one of those, like, it's just a special occasion drink. I don't know that it's it's not any of our favorite scotches, but it's just a fun experience drinking it. Right. Yeah, yeah I, I'm never disappointed. Yeah. Um, never disappointed. And, it's, and it's connected to a lot of memories yes. Uh, yes. for me. And so I do enjoy it. I don't, you know, crap on it. <laughs> Sometimes it gets a lot, a lot of bad... Uh, you know, bad press or something yeah, like that. Yeah, I think that, from like a purely academic analytical point of view, I get it. Yeah, I mean, you, I get it. if you look at the entire Scotch line, yeah. I can understand it, right? I mean, you, you have very unique offerings from various distilleries. And, you know, this idea of blended and, you know, there, there's different versions of blending, but, um, but it gets a lot of, uh, I think, flack because it's not... You know, not a single malt. Yeah, yeah. It's, that's the thing. No age you know? statement. Yeah, I mean, I know Jules loves the bling, though. Dude, it's it's a master class in marketing, though, yeah. guys. I mean, seriously. And um, to what Dylan had mentioned, and you had mentioned too, Dutch. I mean, blue really hits home for me, especially from a memory point of view, because that's actually one of the first spirits I got introduced to from my father, just because he kept buying blue every time he went through uh, duty, duty free. free. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, I mean, and, hey, look, the emotional experience, the nostalgia, yeah. that dude, that's. That's important. I don't yeah. feel like you can completely remove that when you're tasting things. So, guys, let's dig into this. Let's check out the nose. This is opened up a little bit here. Um, Food is memories. Hmm. Oh, wow, it's very robust. You know what? The, the peat is subdued. I, feel I know. Like. Yeah. And you know, yeah. like the For a walker. You know the the sweet, like the old style sweetness of the the celebratory blends. Yeah. Um, maybe a little bit of that Jane Walker style. I mean, you can well, see we, the heritage. We really did like that celebratory blend. Right. I mean, I think that was a, I mean, it was really interesting also just getting a higher proof. I mean, reminiscent of Blue Label in a lot of ways, but it does taste a little more intense. Like there's more flavor. Well, there's a sugar component that is really Oh yeah. interesting to me. There's you're definitely. Ready, you ready to dive in? Okay, so. I would say the balance is a little bit better because sometimes the Johnny Blue, the regular uh, blue label release, mm. the peak is overwhelming sometimes. sometimes yeah. yeah. It's strong, and, yeah. and this one is not that. Not. It, it, no. it, Especially on the finish. The finish is normally nice. where, Yeah, the it's finish very nice. is really nice. Very nice. Oh, man. Hmm. Mm. Okay, second sip because you can't judge it on the first, guys. Wow, the finish is incredible. Yeah, actually. the finish is amazing. Just focusing on the, I'm just like enjoying it. I'm just enjoying there's, it. There's almost more flavor on the finish than on the initial palate. Yeah, which I is agree. what's pretty incredible. It's weird though. It, it almost goes in waves. It's like here's the hit of the palate, then you swallow it, and then here's this amazing hit on the finish, and then it kind of goes down again, and then it goes up a little bit more. It, it's like riding a wave. It's 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 bobbing a little mm. bit. 
But in a good way. I, I, you know, it's velvety. Yes. From the beginning. Yes. And you know, mm. when you when you you drink a lot yes. of we drink a lot of scotch, and right at the the first sip, you can get like hints of bite, right? Mm -hmm. A little bit of that caustic. Um, hint of caustic flavor. Um, you see it in the 12 years mostly. Uh, it starts to kind of mellow out 18, 21, and 25, things like that. Um, even though there's no age, I feel like they were able to blend that out, yeah. right? They were able to say, oh my yeah. gosh, like I don't get anything that is harsh from the beginning to the end. And get that warm feeling without anything that is harsh. It just there's a, there's like a there's like an elegance to the blend too. I think which is interesting. You know what it tastes like for me? It reminds me of like um, a really elegant dessert. You yeah. know, like something with alcohol in it, obviously. But I mean, it. Oh my god, it's like like I, I can't even describe what kind of dessert. But it's it's like one of those. You know, you're at like a top restaurant and you're I ordering keep, like dessert. I keep coming back to what Dylan said. The velvety. It's like, velvet. It's, like, it's velvet. It's yeah. velvet. Man, it's delicious. It is. Very, very intriguing dram. Um, cool. All right, now let's think about it in the scope of the Johnny Walker lineup. Because, you know, we've tasted almost every Johnny. I mean, we've tasted the whole core lineup. We've tasted a lot of the special releases. I mean, Johnny Walker Blues are what, like a $150 to one to $200 bottle, depending on, you know, where you get it. Is this really two, three times Double that expensive? price. Oh man, that's hard. I don't know. Uh, yeah, this is elevated. This is a gift. This is elevated. I. This is beyond just a gift. This is like a kingly an, gift, a King kingly George gift, <laughs> kingly gift, but also like a, an incredible special occasion. Yeah, you know, like you're reaching a milestone. You know, you're I mean, celebrating a and, milestone. And, and, right? I, and I think that you know, I, I mean, feel like it's is, evolving. I mean, go back to yeah. the nose now, and it's more intense. It's yeah. richer. There's more spice. This is, oh man, this is incredible. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit tough because I, I can get like a 25 year, like a, a you know, Clem Farkas doesn't have a peep, but you know, I can get that. Um, I can probably get a- For a third of the price. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean like Glenn, uh, the Glenn uh, Drona 21, which we love. I mean, right. that's a sherry bomb. It's a different flavor profile from this, but again, you're at a two hundred dollars for any of the Macallans. I don't know, man. Yeah, it's a tough one. It's tough, I, and I and I come back to that. Like as a gift, if I was going to get somebody a gift and they're kind of into scotch, they're going to love this. I mean, I think even if you're like a Springbank fanboy and you try this, you'd be like, "Yeah, that's tasty. Is it is it worth three times the price of Blue Label? Eh, maybe not, but it's still." You're gonna sit here and you're gonna enjoy drinking this. Yeah. Nobody's gonna drink uh, this and be like, "Oh, that's that just tastes like crap." No, but I, I'm, what I'm trying to figure out is, let's think about the other line, okay? Let's think about all the other scotches, right? And think about what price point for those kind of different releases do you get a similar type of velvety texture? Yeah. There is a unique. So, there's so, a unique thing here. Yeah, I want to do like a like an exercise. So let's talk about Macallan because everybody knows Macallan, even though you know a lot of connoisseurs would probably not pick Macallan yeah, as kind of the, the you know the, the best. best. Uh, and I, I would agree with that. But it's on par in terms of marketing. Right, and marketing, yeah, for sure. Yeah. So so at in the Macallan line, where do you what at what price point would you get something like this where? It's not the same flavor profile, but like the no. velvety kind of beginning to end. Like at what point? I would say 18, 18. doesn't do it. No. Yeah. 18 say, definitely does, the And highest. that's already $300. Right? Right. And that's, and that's, the, that's, the, that's the equivalent. Yeah. And I would say that McCallum 25. Oh, so McCall, or double. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> McCallum 25 definitely, definitely is. It's velvety. Yeah. It's velvety. But it's what? Two to three thousand yeah. dollars. Okay, so that's a different. What about Highland Park? Highland Park has a little bit of that pee, right? And you can get a Highland Park twenty five. Okay, and that's. I just can, don't remember. You can get it for about three hundred fifty to four hundred dollars. Highland Park twenty five. So. This is a different flavor. I mean, this is no. Different. I get it, but yeah. where do you get that? I, I personally, for me, it's unique. The reason why I would get this is not necessarily the flavor profile. Okay, I can get the flavor profile the from Johnny Walker it's Blue. The book. 
<laughs> no, it's the, it's the velvety beginning yeah. to the end. I agree. And how do I replace that There's with something a, else that's cheaper? Yeah, you know, we, say, that's why I mean in that entire Highland Park lineup, I don't remember yeah, anything. I, I mean, like I, I recently had the twenty five year, and you know, there's no. still that little bite. This I don't get that velvet, right? Uh, and you know, and there's a lot to like about this. I mean, aside from the presentation, I, I mean, I do feel like we're paying. You're paying like two hundred dollars for the bottle and the box and the, the packaging, book, right? <laughs> yeah. Ultimately, if you're paying six hundred, like really, Dude, this whiskey in honor of the king. Man, I, I know, why. I get that, but the whiskey inside, I feel like if this was a two hundred dollar whiskey and we taste it, we'd be like, okay, that makes sense, kind of. I still think at six hundred, it's 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 a bit much, but I keep coming back to what you said. I mean, there's there's something extremely unique about this tasting experience that's not necessarily yeah. in the flavor. It's it's those those. Things that fall in between the categories when you score things, it's that velvety, yeah. it just kind of coats your palate. So it's its affecting the body, it's affecting the finish, it's affecting the flavor, it's, a, it's affecting so much of the tasting experience, but you can't put your finger on it. It's, it's really nice. It's, that, so it's worth something. It it's is. worth something more than Blue Label today. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I totally I've, agree. Totally. I, agree. I've been kind of, you know, going through my stock of like independent bottlers that have gotten specific oh. releases from different distilleries. I mean, and, I want to keep drinking it. And even and then, <laughs> even then, I got to say, it doesn't have that that texture. It's not even about the is, flavor yeah, anymore. I agree. It's the way I, it coats your mouth. The, yeah, you're, yeah, it is, it is yeah. the mouthfeel. It's the mouthfeel, right. but it's more than that. It's the, it's the feel the of finish, the finish. It feels different. The, it's, the total experience. Okay, so let's ask a, let's, let's get to the, the $600 question here. <laughs> would, the, would you guys think this would be a good entrant into our Ultimate Spirits competition? I don't know if it can. S no man. Or would it be yes. more interesting in a Johnny Walker no, premium it can, drink? It can drink. hold. Where it will fail, obviously, is in value, or where maybe the most controversial is in value. I agree, but okay. Well, what but, about in a drink through? Like, if we were to compare this to some of the other Johnny Walkers, say we put like Johnny Walker Blue. I want to do that actually. Like the, maybe the Ghost in the this Rare. This compelled some me. Of, some of the other pricier. Johnny Walkers, do you think that would be more interesting, or should we just do both? No, we got to do both, yeah, and okay. I do think that we need to enter this into the competition because I want to see where it lies. I want to see how it compares with the blue. Let's try to put a number on it. Yeah, we want yeah. a number. I, I I need to compare it, and man, my first impression is again. I, I feel like I'm not blown away by the flavor. I'm blown away by the mouthfeel. Yeah. That's what you're paying for. This is, it's one of those intangibles. It's so it's unique. Like, it's, it's not the flavor. It's like, it's a feeling. It's like, mm -hmm. this is what it it's feels like to come home after a vacation or something. Like, it's like a feeling of an experience. It's like a, it's, it's like a down, it's like a down comforter. Like it's just, yeah. it's just, it's just a it's, soft. It tastes familiar. It tastes comforting in some yeah. weird way. It's. Hey, maybe it's that's so velvety. Maybe that's where the where the that's money the value. makes sense. I mean, maybe it's that thing that goes beyond the flavor experience that means something more. And and the fact that they engineered that into a bottle, though, yeah. that's pretty amazing. Yeah, or I mean, hey, if somebody served this to us in a plastic solo cup, would we have this experience, or are we just off our rock? No, you, you'll, I think you'll know. But I, I will say, there's another. So I've had in my lifetime, I had like the. I think it was like 10, at the time anyway, it was like a $10,000 Macallan. And at the time I felt the same way. Like this is a, this is a mm. familiar feeling where it was like, okay, I get it. I get why this was so expensive. I don't think it was worth right. what it was a 10, $20,000 or whatever, you know, they were charging, but it, oh, I didn't pay for it. <laughs> Somebody I paid for my glass. So, um, and I was grateful. And I felt like, oh, okay, the f flavors were familiar, but I get it. I get what you pay for, yeah. which is the mouthfeel. I feel like the same thing. Yeah, I do too. And, and you'd probably uh, pay for this. What would you pay for this? Mm, let's say that no, for I'm saying, but would you pay for this? Because yeah, he's saying at 10000 he wouldn't pay, obviously. Let's say that for our, uh, our review. Well, yeah. Well, yeah, that's a tough, we'll that's a tough, that's tough one. He's I, got a process. I, I agree. I mean, I, I, I feel good. <laughs> I feel okay with Speechless. What, what we paid for it, but... Uh, I don't know. Anyway, guys, this has been a. Uh, I actually think mm. we talked a lot more about this than I was expecting. I thought yeah, we were going to be like, to be you know, it, tastes, it tastes like Johnny Blue. It's, like, right. Right. it's like, got a fancy bottle, but it no. does. It does feel like there's Holy something more to this. this. I feel like we could probably talk another thirty minutes about this. Maybe yeah. we'll do a podcast about it. Um, but uh, for this episode, our reaction to drinking six hundred dollar whiskey. This was a lot of fun. I think we're going to do some more stuff with this bottle because it is very interesting. The finish is. The finish is 
like no other. It's amazing. It's amazing. All right, Jules, why don't you take us out? Tell us what you guys think in the comments below. Smash that thumbs up if you like this episode. Please subscribe for more videos from Curiosity Public. Also consider joining <laughs> Curiosity <laughs> Private, which is our membership program on YouTube, which really helps our channel out, yes. actually keeps us going. And check out our podcast and all the major podcast platforms out there. As always, stay safe, stay healthy. Stay curious. Four of this, man. Mm. Yeah, I killed mine. Mm. The velvet. So it's crazy. So silky. It's like, um. It's crazy. It's like satin. Mm. Satin? Satin. 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 <laughs> satin. It really does pour amazingly well. I'm so <laughs> impressed with what you just did, Doug. <laughs> I'm impressed. I mean, dude, this is another level. <laughs> when I finish this bottle, I'm just going to put everything oh, in this because it pours so damn well. This is, this is definitely I feel cheap. like we're blinded by the bling, but every time I sip it, I'm like, oh, I'm totally this blinded is... by the bling, but at the same time, I'm enjoying the drink. Well, it is so, better so. than okay, Johnny we need Okay, we need a... We need to do a blind. I do need a reference blind. point, though. We need yeah. some blind. I haven't had blue in I think it would be time. good to do a blind with this and Johnny Blue and maybe one other thing. No, no, no! It wasn't that? It was. A, it's a twenty-eight-year-old. Look, look at how much glass is dude, on the bottom of this. That's heavy, though, dude. Do you think it will uh, survive the fall? I don't know. It's almost too heavy. Although it's gonna reach like terminal velocity. I love that freaking bottle, man. Dude, the bottle is amazing. Ah, it's incredible. I hate that I like it. I know. Me too. Dude, but I love it. Every pour is a good pour out of Dutch's hand. That alone is an accomplishment. I feel like I need to. Get it for our barbecue. It's a miracle. <laughs> I feel like I need to get it for our barbecue. I mean, this is a show-off piece too. Totally. Like, hey, you want to try some? Oh, you're peacocking. Oh man.